Can't have a snail L, man. Yes, yeah, the classic battle of um, hip hop. You know, on the verge of, I would probably say, Cool Modi slash LL. A lot of people think that uh, LL won hands down, blah, blah, blah. I mean, in certain eyes, yeah, he did, but cannabis, he was more hungry. The problem with this one is how complicated it is. It's not a simple yeah. answer. It's not just, right. oh, LL won, cannabis lost. And I think that's part of the problem I have is, from a lyrical standpoint, I don't think LL Cool J can even touch cannabis. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> And I think Cannabis' second round knockout, that song was amazing. Now, yeah, even the video. You saw the video? Yeah. The sand and she was training and shit. It was like, ah. It was like, and you get a boo, boo, boo. Yeah, you can, boo, one of the boo, big, like, one of the complaints people have about <laughs> Cannabis is production. And you gotta say to a certain extent that a rapper is kind of responsible for the production. They they're, they, they're picking up, why did that make that? So let's break it down. First off, you got, yeah. you got the 4321, and that's the verse that LL shot at Cannabis, and Cannabis appears on the song. Yeah. Now, I gotta tell you, my whole thing, I think there's more of that beef than people know. I think there was something else going on that we never heard about. Yeah, I mean, that's, that is that is true. But I mean, what I heard was, I mean, I'm not maybe wrong, but I heard that Cannabis submitted his, his piece, and then LL got mad because he said, I'll rip that mic off your arm. Uh, this is how Cannabis says it. And LL's pretty much corroborated this. And Cannabis says that he went up to LL, he's like, I love that microphone tattoo on your arm. Are you cool if I get one? And oh. LL Cool J's like, no, I'm the greatest of all time. Like, you can't have that. The hell? The fucking tattoo? And he was like, he was like, really? Seriously, dude? So, I mean, like, you're an icon to me and I was giving you respect with this stuff? Yeah. So, bam. I think that's that's what Cannabis says, and L kind of backs that up. He even mentions that in, in, in Rip the Jacker. Mm. But, um, and Cannabis came back like four or five times, too, on like mixtapes and stuff. Like, it if you actually go. As, as impactful as Second Round. Yeah, Second Round Knockout was, it had really, you know, that was, that was, if you look at, most people consider the battle to be Second Round KO. Well, right. so, 4 3 2 one, second round KO, and Rip the Jacker. And he had several responses to Rip the Jacker. I think after Rip the Jacker, L just kind of just let go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in people's eyes, it was like, you know, he, he won. You know, even online internet, people would be getting upset and be like, oh, Cannabis won. They would say he won because of, they was like, oh, L dropped more albums than Cannabis. LL's long, longevity. Uh, yeah, we know that, but he's got more influence. The battle, man. It's like, Here's the problem, though. <laughs> Here's the problem. At that point in his career when he made Rip the Jacker, mm -hmm. I don't know that he wrote Rip the Jacker. That's part of the problem because oh. it's my understanding that he had Jay Z ghostwrite in front of that point because he was into a sitcom, book deal, appearing in movies. Right. And a lot of rappers, they get ghostwriters at that point. I mean, Ludacris, supposedly, from what. Uh, our homeboy Richie Rich, shout out to Richie Rich, I'll try to link up his channel right now. He um, did a track and he told me that the track, the rapper he was working with was the guy who was ghostwriting for Ludacris, because Ludacris was out doing this thing. Which really surprised, I was like, really? Yeah, Ludacris is nice. But, um, you know, El Cool is nice, he's not a bad rapper, yeah, but... And he's got some, I mean, he's got some classics. I mean, when we're comparing classics, we're not talking about... You, you know how you get into the Rocksteady crew? You have to battle someone in the Rocksteady crew and beat them to be admitted in. And it doesn't matter what their, their you know, track record is, how long they've been, you know, what their longevity, all that, what their influence is. If you battle and you beat them, then you beat them in the story. Wow. And I, you know, if you're looking at a battle based on, on track record, I mean, that's not, you can have a great track. I mean, just tons of people out there who got lots of albums and they got yeah. lots of hits and lots of singles. <laughs> But there's rappers who would destroy them in a battle that you ain't never heard of, who may not have a single album at all. They might have five little final, you know, underground. singles underground flipping around yep. the mixtape circuit, and that's it. That is true. So, uh -huh. I will say that I think if he wrote Rip the Jacker, Rip, in Rip the Jacker, he pretty much destroys cannabis with just the line, 99% of your fans don't exist. Yep, yep. yep. <laughs> I think Cannabis' biggest one was he said, um, the sick, but once you rip the tap from your arm, sick for you, boy, you put funny moms in front of your Watch moms, your birth, the third yeah. born, whatever that shit is. Like, oh, take your wife get on the horn, call me Mr. Farrakhan, because it beat the stop, and it's like, ah, oh, this shit's crazy, man. It's Cannabis really showed himself in that, um, 
that battle where he did he got up there and just said, I'm not going to say anything because the other dude won. And Is it a disaster battle? I, I can't remember who Yeah, kind of just a disaster when he pulled, it, pulled that book. That was, uh, that was kind of depressing, actually. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness, you're such a, a lyrical, ridiculous person. But then it's like, I mean, I guess that's, that shows everybody is human, man. You know what I mean? You know, you have your flaws and shit, but for him to say, yeah, you won, and then start pulling your book out, it's like, okay, I didn't yeah. come here for that. You know what I mean? It's like, it is kind of bad. But I mean, shit, nobody's perfect, you know? I, the biggest problem with cannabis is that he is really bad at picking his production. And you gotta respect it. But it's like, they're, they're almost from two different worlds in a way. You know, L Cool J, he's an old school cat. And he built his way up to being this pop superstar. And he is. I mean, I'm sorry, but L Cool J is a pop superstar. Mm-hmm. The songs he was putting out in the late 90s and early 1000s, those were like top 10 hits. Those were like, those were charting on Billboard and shit. She, she was raised on top 10. I'm joking. <laughs> <It's> sexy. <up. laughs> to me, in terms of who actually like came with it the hardest, I, I give it to cannabis. But who I think actually won the battle, like ended up shining. It's like the he most? won the battle, but Ella won the war. Yeah, I would say Ella won yeah, the war. Yeah, and he didn't even do that much to do it. He put out like one response. It's to my knowledge. If there's more out there, I don't know. I'm sure it's probably some big state front right there somewhere that will know on it. And there's probably been like shit said, like words in interviews and stuff like that, but I don't really count. I don't think you really want to battle off yeah. with an interview. I don't think they beef in anymore now. They'd probably cool now. I'm probably not. I think they never hear. Never hear. That's the cannabis crazy. kind of fell off, you know? That yeah. was, that's part of the problem is, you know, it's like, where did you go? So. He's an icon, man. I respect cannabis. Fucking fullest man. Without him, there wouldn't be like no other fucking battle rappers. Just dudes, when he came out, fucking freestyle and hot ninety seven and shit. Oh, I I do I do, th- I, do th- I agree with you. I, th- I think he did a lot to bring battle rappers to yeah. the foreground as a like you know because we were kind of drifting away from that you know getting to the bling bling and the puffy with the shiny suits and shit. And what do y'all think about you know cannabis and all? Do you think Cannabis won, L O one? Was it a tie? Was it a match? <laughs> What's our take? Did we get it wrong? Let us know. Just uh, you know, go down there and, and dish it out and we'll see what you got to 